and go. Six weeks out, about, give yeah. or take. How do you feel? I feel great. Everything is uh, going along as planned, and I'm finishing up my camp in Chicago. And then next weekend, I'm going to drive out to Miami and do my last month out there. Yeah. The last time you and I talked, you knew this fight was going to be the fight, but it wasn't announced yet. And, and you know, take, take us through the emotions of, of what it was like when you finally got that call and you knew that he was good to go. He was finally healthy enough to, to do this and, and where you were going to be on, on, you know, on a huge card in the summer. I've actually known I was going to fight him for a while. They wanted me to keep it quiet because of the rehab he was going through. He, he kind of had a reoccurring injury again, and, and they had to put it off. But I knew about a, maybe two weeks after my fight with Coke that, you know, it was going to be with Korean Zombie. I just had to keep quiet about it. So uh, it was the only fight that I wanted, the only fight that I would have taken because the UFC holds him in high regard. I think that he's, you know, the last guy I'm going to have to go through before uh, hopefully I could solidify a title shot have they for told you that for sure, that no. he's the last guy you're going to have to go through? No, and you haven't. At this point, you're at not this point, no, I'm not, no, I'm not thinking about it. You know, yeah. Korean Zombie is somebody that you don't want to look past. So I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. I'm going to concentrate on him right now and worry about what happens after the fight. Why do you think they hold him in such high regard? Obviously, he's a very good fighter, but, you know, like you said, Dana wears his shirt sometimes to the weigh-ins and stuff, and you can tell they definitely really like this guy. Yeah, I think it's just because of his style. He puts on exciting fights. You know, he's always going forward. He's always looking for a knockout. And, uh, you know, after, after, you know, his fight with Leonard Garcia, he kind of blew up, you know, and... I think, I think that's why they kind of hold him in that high regard. But I'm going to try and change Dana's mind after this fight, maybe get him to wear a bully T-shirt. And so far, what fight do you think most defines you? If we had to show somebody just one of your fights, which one would you like us to show them? Um, I don't know. That, that's a tough question. I think maybe my fight with Cub, uh, the emotional state I was in, I wasn't. my head wasn't even in there to fight. I, I, I lost a family member a week out from that fight, and uh, I was at the funeral the day before the weigh-ins and then I went you know from the cemetery to the airport to go cut weight and uh, I think just you know I, I was put in a lot of bad positions in that fight and, and fought through it and came out on top so that that I think that fight defines me you know it, it shows the heart that I have. What are your thoughts on Anthony Pettis coming down to fight Aldo? It was something that I was pretty pissed off about for about a day and uh I'm not mad at him or anything. You know, he, he went through his own things at, at lightweight. He was promised a title shot a couple times and, you know, had it taken away. So I understand he was just trying to look out for himself and his career. Um, I wish they would have given it to me, though, you know. Well, somebody had already asked that, but what do you think in this fight that you would need to do to really put your stamp on it to maybe get that shot? I think that I got to go out there and I got to finish this fight. I got to finish the zombie and put him away. You've had the four fights and won over several top competitors, including Hiyoki. Uh, what do you think is the difference that would really, I guess, bring you out as far as putting your name out there more often? Like, let's say Anthony Pettis, he texts Dana, he gets the fight, he's more of a name. What do you think you need to do to make your name really, really out there so that you do get that fight? You know, in the past, I've been uh, very reserved and very quiet and uh, kind of soft-spoken, and I think I need to uh, speak up for myself a little more now and, and let people know what I want. I think that's going to make the uh, major difference. You're not the only guy that says that, by the way. I mean, we've talked to, talked to guys all the time that say that, so if it's not in your nature to do that, how do you, how do, you do that? I, mean, I talked to Darren Elkins about it, too, and he's like, look, man, I'm just, I'm just a dude from the Midwest. I'm just a blue-collar guy. I'm not going to not chill. Right. But I should be Chael. How do you just become Chael? <laughs> I don't know. I think he's got a team of writers for him, doesn't he? I don't think he comes up with all this stuff by himself. But uh, I'll try it, you know. I'm not, I'm not the type of guy that's going to go out there and talk trash and make up all these yeah. fabricated beefs with my opponents and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully they'll, they'll see the results through my fights and, and give me credit for that. Mm-hmm. That's the only way you're going to get uh, you're going to get noticed. I mean, because you've been doing it inside the octagon, but do you, do you really feel that that's what you have to do? I think that this fight, you know, it, after winning this fight, who else is there left? You know what I mean? What what other top contender is there? I think this fight will solidify me as the number one contender. What if Pettis actually does beat Aldo? Would that be disappointing for you, having maybe waited to face Aldo, that Pettis gets the uh, belt and you go up against him maybe? Yeah, you know, I thought about that, and being the guy to beat Aldo would be the best. You know what I mean? He's, as far as being a champ, he's one of the best champs out of all of them. You know, he's such a uh, dominating uh, athlete, and uh, I'd love to be the guy to beat him. So if Pettis does, does it before me, I'll be a little disappointed, but as long as I get the chance to fight Pettis for the for the belt if he wins, then I'll be, then I'll be happy. 
a little Chicago Milwaukee rivalry going on there if that happens. Again. Yeah, I just did it with just his with it. his uh, teammate Coke, yeah. So how would you feel about that? I mean, they would have <laughs> ten weeks worth of preparation for you already in that camp. I don't know, it's whatever. As long as I get yeah, that chance to fight for the strap, I don't care who it's against. Thanks, Ricardo.